Hey guys, I wanted to hang out on the trail with you and break down what are my favorite mid-drive electric bike motors. I've tried just a ton of systems um, all over the map, including older systems and, and noticed how they've gotten a little bit better and that's the case with Broza. In 2018, they've got the new S Sport model. So I just wanted to jump in and give you my feedback. Down here, we've got the Broza S, we've got the Bosch Performance Line CX High Torque, and then we've got the Shimano E8000 up here. So all of these are, they're designed to be like off-road mountain biking uh, mid-drives. And this is a very steep trail. Like I've been riding this, actually came from way down there at the beach the other day and rode up. There's some sections that's, it's more about balance. It's in, not like the motor's cutting out on you or anything. It's, it's like just trying to keep that front wheel down um, and, and stable. So which one performs the best? In my opinion, it's the Broza S. And I was a little bit surprised because I'm a big fan of the Bosch Performance Line CX motor. It offers up to 75 Newton meters of peak torque. It's got that smaller chain ring that spins two and a half revolutions for every single crank arm revolution. So it has a gearbox inside, a reduction gear. And you know, I asked Bosch about that, like, why do you do that? And I personally feel like, oh, it gives a, the motor a mechanical advantage uh, by externalizing that gear a little bit. Uh, maybe it gives you better grab, that's what they said. It definitely puts the chain closer to the chain stay, so sometimes there's some slapping or you kind of have to redesign, uh, maybe have like a pulley wheel, high bike has that, where they, they lift the chain so it doesn't interfere with the swing arm. And then you got to think about the suspension and stuff. It's great, produces a little bit of additional noise, kind of like, you know, when you're in the high power, high RPM. Um, it's efficient, it's reliable. I mean, Bosch is like the standard. Broza is a German automotive company that's kind of getting into the game here in the United States. Their original T model, it was great. It was smooth, it was quiet. And the big deal was like, oh, it has a, a carbon belt drive inside, a Gates carbon belt drive that sometimes you see replacing a chain on bikes. It's in there, so it's kind of more fluid. It feels more natural, that's the marketing. But it's true, it actually does. The quietness has gone away a little bit with the S Sport model. It puts out up to 90 Newton meters of torque. It's 15% more powerful than the T model and about 1.25% more efficient. That's what they market and stuff. The weight, I'm not really sure. I think this is like five and like six and a half pounds for, uh, for the Broza motor, 8.8 .8 pounds for Bosch, and then you know back to like around six pounds for Shimano. So why, is, why isn't Shimano getting any love? Um, the E8000, is compact it has a standard q factor meaning that your crank arms and your pedals aren't extra wide because of these the motor casings and stuff and that's something that people were complaining about like oh and we're talking millimeters here it's not a problem with these in my experience but this is shimano they're like the same guys that make the derailleurs on all these bikes and they have all kinds of investment into bicycles normal bicycles they don't make a speed motor they don't even support speed pedelec motors class 3 with their di2 electronic shifting system so it's all about like being like a bike and on this system we actually are running di2 and the display panel up there controls your shifting as well as your assist level it's kind of neat it's all combined but i feel like there was a huge missed opportunity they could have sensed like when are you shifting gears oh okay we're going to tell the motor to ease off too so we don't have mashing and stuff and it just it, they didn't do that um, just like the Broza motor, it has a more traditionally sized chain ring. This one happens to have narrow wide teeth. And we got that Shimano hollow spindle bottom bracket and stuff. It, it's nice. And again, it's compact, smaller and lighter weight than Bosch. Um, but I just feel like it doesn't start quite as smoothly. There's more of a engagement, like clink, and then it climbs really well. But once you hit 20, which is not difficult to do, it just cuts out pretty hard. And it does feel like you, I mean, you really notice it. I feel like my momentum keeps going. And all of a sudden I feel like what happened? Where'd that motor support go? Whereas Bosch, it's probably in the middle. It sort of, it eases out. You do notice like, okay, I hit my 20. I don't have support, but Broza is the smoothest. It eases out the smoothest and it starts the smoothest. It just, I mean, if you're just barely pedaling, it's barely going to help you. It's not like Shimano where it has nothing when you're barely pedaling and then it starts and you really notice it. This one's just much more fluid. It's, it's just this really smooth arc in power. Um, so again, in terms of reliability and trust, my favorite is Bosch. In terms of actual performance, my favorite is Broza. Uh, the Shimano is like, eh, keep trying guys. Like, I hope you can do better on this because you're an awesome company. I love all the shifting and I see the potential for shift detection and everything. It's powerful. I had no problem climbing this with any of these bikes. 
but again, this one just had a better experience. And there are moments where, you know, you want it, you're doing like a wheelie or, you know, kind of delicately and you're trying to keep that front wheel on the ground or you're going around rocks or really sharp cutback and you need that, that precision handling, which you get just straight away, even in the highest level of assist with Broza compared to Bosch, it's, it's a lot like riding in their new EMTB mode, which gives you 120 up to 320 assist. It's all in one mode, depending on how hard you pedal, like torque sensing. And that's what Broza does just right out of the gates. So if you want to have full power all the time in turbo mode, you do get that in Bosch. And you don't have to necessarily kind of push as hard. This is more active. This feels the most natural to me. This one gives you the most choice and availability in terms of batteries and stuff. And then Shimano is just the new guys. And I, you know, again, um, it's just, it's not my favorite out of these three. And I think these three are the leaders right now. One of the other things I really like about the Broza system is that the battery packs, at least on the Bulls bikes we're looking at here, you get 37 volts, 17.5 amp hours, and it's an in-tube design. It doesn't click out quite as nicely as the power tube from Bosch, which kind of hangs there for a minute, and you, you have to very actively and intentionally press to get it to unlock, um, but it still does okay. I've you know, filmed and reviewed all of these different bikes we're looking at here on the hillside, and I'm gonna overlay some footage that shows the motors activating like next to each other so you can get a sense for the sound and how smooth and all that. But this qualitative feedback was designed to just give you my honest opinion. Again, I see all these different motors. Each bike's a little bit different and offers something special and the prices vary. Uh, but I'm just really impressed with the uh, Bros S. I'm also excited that it sounds like in 2018, they're gonna do a service center maybe up in Seattle or something and provide a little bit more support and engagement with the US market because they're kind of a, a smaller one here compared to uh, Bosch especially. Okay guys, my friend's gonna hold the camera and I'm gonna ride by, but I'm also gonna have my other camera connected to the bike. And the idea is that you just get two perspectives. I'm gonna climb the same section of trail all the way up there. It's pretty steep, especially with those rocks. There's a little bit of technical stuff. Again, it's not, it's not killer, but that should give you an idea of how each motor sounds in a climbing situation. And I'm gonna try to go slow and show it engaging and disengaging, maybe do a little bit of shifting. Each one of these bikes is in uh, the lowest gear and they're all geared pretty similarly. Okay guys, this is the Broza S motor. I'm in actually the second to lowest gear and I'm in the highest level of assist right now. straighten the camera a little bit so you can actually see the motor. Again, the big takeaway for me is just how smooth it is. If I'm not pushing hard, it's not pushing hard, but it's still there. It's not cutting in and out like kind of the Bosch motor in the highest level of assist, but not really EMTB mode. M most like the, uh, the Shimano motor. It really has a hard cutoff. Uh, kicked my camera. <laughs> no problem. Got that knee injury, so I have to run down backwards. Okay guys, now we're on the Bosch Performance Line CX, my second favorite mountain biking motor for 2018. And I'm in turbo, I'm in the lowest gear. And keep an eye on that, that chain ring. It spins a little bit faster because of the unique size and that, uh, the gearing.
good. I mean, the EMT B mode is impressive. There's a little bit more noise, a little bit more weight in the motor with Bosch, but it's a close second, in my opinion. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> nice and subtle. See, I can, I can kind of stabilize. It's not overpowering me. Oh, boy. Okay, we're looking at the Shimano E8000, kind of my least favorite, just because of the way it engages. It's not quite as smooth, um, and it definitely feels like more of a, a hard stop when it stops assisting. We're gonna do the climb. I'm in like the turbo mode, the highest level. I'm in a, a first gear. bad once that motor is active it does pretty well and it still has a wide range that is based on torque some of my experience with this motor has been on flat more of a cross-country terrain and you notice that start stop a little bit more and then the high speed that cutout we were talking about but it's really not too bad i don't mean to trash on the shimano engine too much it's it's very capable it still gives you a great experience so hope that helps you guys Well guys, I think that's, that's it. We got all the bikes a little further up the trail. I still stand by my, my experience. The Bulls feels a little, a little softer at times, but it, it's still capable. It's able to reach those, those higher levels and maybe the gradient's just a little more fluid and especially from starting. Once I got the Shimano motor going, it was smooth and it worked pretty well. They all made a little bit more noise because you know, they're working extremely hard. And of course the MTB mode with Bosch, it's still, it's, you know, it's a great feature. I was excited to see it in 2017. It's coming standard on all the bikes now, 2018. If you have an older CX motor, you can go to your dealer. They can upgrade your firmware. I think that's about it. Chime in with any questions, comments, feedback. If you think like, oh, you're doing something wrong or you, you have another, you know, comparison you want to see in the future and I'll do my best to make it happen. Big thanks to Bulls. The team let me borrow, you know, a whole bunch of their really nice bikes. We got them a little bit dirty, but it's great to see them side by side and, and get this kind of feedback and hopefully help you guys choose. Whew. Have fun out there. Thank you, Corey. Ride safe. Hey guys, we just got off the trail. We're talking kind of amongst ourselves and I was getting some feedback. You know, what were you saying about the Shimano motor, Paul? Yeah, I was saying from a dead stop, yeah. it, it comes on more quickly and with a little more power. So if you get stuck on a hill and you need to get started again, the Shimano really helps you out. Where the other systems take a little bit more uh, longer pedal stroke, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a you know quarter turn and the E8000 kicks right on. Okay, how about uh, when it kicks off? Have you have you it, reached 20? Yeah, definitely more. Yeah, definitely more uh, abrupt when it shuts off. And starting and stopping, you feel it more than you do with uh, either the Bosch or the Broza. Yeah, awesome, awesome. You know, what do you think? Do you have a favorite motor in the mountain biking? No, I, li I like all of the motors. Depending on what I'm doing, I guess I'll choose what bike to take. Yeah. Um, if it's like pure off-roading, it'll be the Shimano. If you want something more comfortable, it'll be either the Rose or the Bosch. Yeah. Okay. I guess I like comfortable. <laughs> it's neat to see all these um, in action again. And then now we're on the, the smooth stuff. All very stable.
my experience was actually that the Shimano struggled to keep up with the other ones a little bit. It, it didn't quite get to that full 20. 